squander what we give them, and then they go out and try to thieve from the people who've been responsible. Well, they have to get the money from somewhere, so they've got to come pick it out of us. And you, you'll hear that's the first 14 seconds of our show, people. <laughs> Welcome to Happy Hour. We try to do this every Tuesday or so for several reasons. One, it's fun. Um, two, it introduces people to what we do here at the Center for Bioacoustic Biology, which is stick a microphone in front of your face and take a picture of your voice. That's the picture of the lady I just did a radio show with. Um, this is a good vocal print, so we're going to be looking at that. She's very committed to spirituality and helping other people, and so we can tell things by what is in your voice. Tonight, by, by absolute request, not just by popular request, people called and begged us. I am feeling so fatigued. What is the matter with me? So we started looking. And do you remember the keynotes that we were doing? Introducing people to not only what their vocal print says, but what the frequencies coming toward the earth say. And when we did this a week or so ago, on July 14th, it was all about what's going on with liver sensitivity, GI sensitivity, uh, there was some flu things we thought, but really it was a problem with a fatty liver. And people who were having fatty liver, livers were having all kinds of fatigue. Epstein-Barr was raising its ugly head as mononucleosis factor. H was very high. But it's continued. The fatigue has continued. So we looked it up today, and there's something called nuclear factor. And nuclear factor is involved with keeping Epstein-Barr up and running, if you don't have enough of it. Um, it also deals with the immune system. But as we deal with fatigue, yes, there's outside influence. Your boss yelled at you, uh, you're in the middle of a divorce, you're depressed, and depression's part of that. But I always try to see depression as something positive because Depression is like a bad, no, a good road sign. It says don't go that way. And it just tells you what to stay away from because it makes you feel icky. So I will be posting another keynote about this nuclear factor. I don't think I have it up, so it, yeah, it can be seen. It is part of the activation of T cells, which is your some of your cells that help you uh, get rid of attacks on the body. And the biggest attack right now is Epstein-Barr virus, and that's the I can't put one foot in front of the other virus. Cher suffered from it. Um, just there's another word for it: um, chronic fatigue. So part of it is from outside influence, and some of the things that might help you get over it a little more would be maybe some extra calcium. The other thing that's in activation right now is the Hagen factor, which is about blood clotting, and high thrombin, and that's blood clotting factors. High thrombin can cause you to be incredibly fatigued. High sugar, high blood sugar can cause you to feel fatigue. So pathogens, emotions, lack of the proper nutrients. So tonight we thought we would use our fatigue program. Please go visit um, our website. Look at the next keynote I'm going to put on. We thought we would go visit our, I don't know what I'm talking about. We so thought we'd go look at or fatigue, and I just had it here, that fatigue program, and it is totally gone. And look at a couple people's voice. Melinda wanted us to do her voice. Moon wanted us to do her voice. So I think Moon was here first. Just for fun, 
how many of you are experiencing fatigue? Yes, I'm experiencing some fatigue. Lana's experiencing yeah. fatigue, okay. George? Do you know, Marion? Ann Richards? Mary? Good grief, a lot of you. Well, let's see. If it's depression, it could be magnesium, it could be uh, B vitamins, it could be progesterone. Progesterone is a D-sharp, magnesium is a G, um, what else did I say, D5, that's an A. So we can start to look at these. Now I'm going to get up and turn off the air conditioner in here, but it's making a terrible noise. So Moon, I'd like to get a really clean uh, plot from you. So are you able to call us at the same time you're online? And remind me when I come back to tell you guys something about online. Okay, Moon, can you call us on the phone? Can you do that? And while she's getting ready to call, whoops, that's the wrong number. Some of you have been calling on a toll-free number. Now, if you can tell me where this toll-free number is, we need to get rid of it. I cannot afford to pay $60 per person for you to listen to this free class. And that's what's happening. It's getting ridiculous. I'm paying, one of the classes we paid over $1,000 in fees, phone fees of people calling in to some 800 number. Are you there, Moon? I am. Oh, I got a dial tone at the same time. That was weird. Okay, I was just oh. saying, well, we've tried to cut off the phone options, Richard, but somebody is still calling in. And we we have a contract against people being called in. So if somebody's got some way around this and they're just doing this to run up our phone bills and stuff, it's got to stop or I'm going to stop these classes. I cannot afford this. That's three people's salary for a week. So we just talked to the company today when we asked for phone numbers. Who's doing this? So they're going to provide it to us, provide them to it. I was just grouching about people calling in on an 800 number and causing us phone charges. Okay, my rant for today. So you see the sleepy bear here? So it also reminds me to tell you that being overweight can cause you uh, fatigue and depression because it puts stress on the liver. I just talked to a lady today that had a great book about liver cleanse. Um, so maybe I'll have her on the show and because that's where to start with fatigue. It makes your hormones. It makes your energy. Krebs cycle is another one that we really need to do some a show about the Krebs cycle, which is the energy cycle, the citric acid cycle of the body. Richard, would you watch for Melinda? She was supposed to come in and get her voice done. Okay. Most of you know that when we start with these programs, we start with audacity. When it says there's two audacities here. And this is a program that you can get online, it's free, and it's just how we take vocal samples. Thank you, Richard. So I'm going to just hit the record button, the red. Now, if you want instructions for all of this, they're on our site. Go to Downloads, go to PTSD. We're changing that out August 1st, and we cannot decide what to change it to, either this fatigue program or to the cancer absolutes that we did last week. So if you have a voice uh, about this and you, and you want to say something to us about which one you would prefer, please let us know because we're going to change it out on August 1st and we can't decide which one to use. So this is the Bioacoustic Basics textbook, 72 pages, I think. If you open it up, it'll give you instructions about how to do everything that we're doing this evening. So Moon is going to give us some information. 
30 seconds, and up here's the seconds, because she is saying she's been incredibly tired. So talk to us, Moon. All right, I'm here. Oh, you're starting to record. Well, I uh, noticed a few weeks ago that uh, I was starting to get very tired, but it also seemed to coincide with uh, the weather. You were talking with Richard about uh, it being cold, hot, and humid, and that's what I'm finding here. It does seem to be rather uncharacteristic. We seem to be going through rain and heat cycles every day, just about. Like right now, it's absolutely um, blue sky, sunny, just lovely. But I'll bet you it'll be raining not too long from now. Okay, I let this go a little long because she had a couple of things that I want to talk about. These seconds right here, because they are truncated. They're cut off at the top and bottom. This is where she was too loud. I'm going to chop that off. And let's see. I think I still have 35 seconds. That's okay. 34 seconds. I don't see anything in there that looks like a thump or a bump. It all looks kind of normal to me. If it was a thump or a bump, it'd look like this little strike right here, which is really just where my mouse pointer is. So we're going to save that. Actually, we're going to export it. I should quit saying we're going to save it. We're going to save it as noon. Tired. And we're saving it 16-bit mono. And we went ahead and recorded it at 32,000, 16 bit. All that information is in a textbook. I just didn't want to waste any time in class going over that. I want to keep that, and I'm going to put it in our Abacus program that I do not see here. I'm going to have to hunt for it. Okay. Yes, who said that? Karen, did you want to say something? No. Okay, I'm going to mute your mic. Anybody else I need to mute? No. Okay. So if you want Abacus program, it's free for you. It's also on those downloads right here. You can get Abacus. We try to give you enough information. I'll write myself a note. So that you can start your own practice with just these few freebie programs. We are just totally committed to giving you enough software to get you started. So we're going to open Abacus, and this is going to tell us what sounds, not, not the words and what she said, but little sound bites in Moon's voice that are out of normal. J-K-L. I used to have this Organized by date, I'll have to go back and do that. When you look at this darker gray grid, you know, look at this. Whatever you're talking on is not carrying those low, lower frequencies. You on some kind of cell phone or something? No, I'm on a phone phone, a landline. Is it um, portable? Uh, no. It's Hooked with wire? Wow. Well, I would take another print if I was me. <laughs> Um, but this just is not normal. Or it says she's going to have an incredible um, time of denial. But you see somebody's local print like this, they usually are going into denial about everything or something. So we have one, two, three somewhat lows, but really only these two lows. Most of what her stuff is is high. Um, Moon, let's take another one. I just, I don't believe this one's the truth. Okay. You ready? Oh, gosh. I'll have to think of something to talk about. <laughs> talk about being tired. Oh, yeah, I can. Go. Okay. Uh, we're ready to go? Yeah. Um. Uh, being tired? Well, what I'm finding is that I'm sleeping a lot more than I think I should be. Now, I know it's the heat, and I tend to do that a little bit more in the summer, but it's ridiculous. I'm getting just next to zilch done, and I, I really 
resent that <laughs> because I'm not getting on with my life and stuff that I want to get done. It's really annoying. It's very difficult to get weeding done and lawn mowing done and never mind email and looking on the age or something. Okay, uh, I'm hearing something, and most of you know I can hear things in voice. I'm hearing things that carbohydrates are dragging you down. Are you eating more more carbohydrates than normal? More carbohydrates? Well, are you talking about vegetables? No, I'm talking about that man-made garbage. No, no. The farmer's market's are in now, and uh, I'm, I'm eating, you know, like steam potatoes and sweet. Potatoes, potatoes will do it. Okay. Um, I eat them in conjunction with other uh, veggies that I mentioned. Hmm. See if you could. We'll go on, but see if you could cut potatoes out for a little bit and see okay. if, if that will help. Also, I have to tell you though, um, I'm just I've just been eating the potatoes at the for the last um, two or four days. And this has been going on now for two weeks. Oh, so it's much more than just the potato. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So moon tired too. Look at that. It falls even further. I'm going to get rid of that first one. Whoever's calling here, I can't answer. Well, we still got some funky stuff there in the beginning. This says you have more weird stuff to come, and we should concentrate right in this area. And see this arch? Yep. This tells me it's inflammation. And this tells me that it is the problem. Oh. So since you're a practitioner, let's just take that number, and you're going to go look this up. You don't tell us because we're not allowed to do things by frequency. But anyway, I'm going to punch a little button here, and it's going to go in and take all these highs and lows. And this one is right next to the gray area. This is the coherence grid. So are these two. Um, I think I just want to get rid of these. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I might be in denial of the weather. <laughs> Well, usually it's something um, physical when, when you get squashed like that, or it's the phone somehow. Um, this is a Polycom phone, and it's, a, it's supposed to do stuff right, but this is inflammation. You can't be in denial about the weather. I want to go in here and maybe take some other issues here. See that great big gap? That says that's active. So what I'm doing, watch these little blanks over here. I'm going over here and saying, I want to know more about this little open space here. Because that means it's active. And I bet we find our stuff in there. So I'm going to put in there H's for high. Because as we look at this, Anything above the grid, and Richard's over there yelling, methylation, because everything high means you're not processing it. And, boy, that can make you lethargic because you've got the stuff you need. You just can't use it. So all of this gray grid in here is normal. And anything above it, we put an H in there. Anything below it, we put a low because the reports are going to come out. This is high and this is low. Okay, so noon. This is the second one. And one line. And she's tired. Uh, do we need your birthday? Okay. And female, and that's all we need. And if you don't fill those in, it'll come back and yell at you, so you might as well do it. So here's the numbers. Uh, remember that 283054 and 2297. I can see what's going on right now. You've got adrenal stress. Ooh. 
um, made me forget where I want to file it. What about my GNS file? It looks like something around adrenaline. But I'm guessing. Let's go with the computer program. So we just kept all of this list of numbers. We didn't keep all the pictures of the chart or anything. So then we open our little fatigue program, which I've promptly lost again. If you do that by mail, Melinda, they'll charge you. Um, let me give you the number so we'll have it as soon as we're finished with um, Moon. We may need to go over. Some people don't like that, but we may not have any choice this evening. So if we're going to go to our GNS file, and I don't care where you file these, you can file them in a, a thing that says Richard's favorite files or something, just so we have a way to go back and look at them once we save them. Moonstone 2 online. Now what we did was just pull in all of these numbers over here. Remember those are the same ones? Low. You're about um, point. Look at point oh six as your variance, and you'll get to see this adrenal fatigue. And that's just for practitioners. Some of you won't know what that means, but that's just if you take the big professional class. And Moon has done that plus. So we can look at this first. I'm going to look at pathogens. So I'm going to uncheck all of this, and what this is going to do is look up each of these numbers and see what they represent. So if we put in cocktail search and put in heart, I don't know, nothing came up. Uh, if we put in kidney, adrenal, nothing came up. What comes up in this stuff? Uh, fatigue, yeah, a lot of stuff about fatigue, everything there about fatigue. Um, Let's see, alleviate, deficiency. We could just put alleviate. There's some of the things we might look up. Well, what I want to look for is Epstein Barr. So let's look at pathogens. I'm going to increase her variance here. Because we're on the phone and I don't I don't trust things that I don't record. So instead of the variance being three, okay, what's the variance? Sixteen might be the number, but sixteen oh three would be point oh three away and fifteen ninety seven would be point oh three away in the other direction. So we give a little leeway uh, for inaccuracy of the microphone and such. So I want to see what we have here in pathogens. Maybe we'll do genomes at the same time. Epstein Barr virus, hi. That can throw you for a loop. And the nuclear factor that's in, um, let me see if I can find a way to show this because that's really important, I think. This is what is, oh, I can't get it over there. Let me see if I can chop out some of these others. Okay. You can't really see what's going on here, so I'm going to move it over just a bit. This is what's activated right now. Look at it. Mutates when Epstein-Barr virus is present and hits your immune system. That's the keynote I'm going to write today. And there's that Epstein-Barr. Coxsackie virus is high, two different kinds. Now, this is just common, snotty-nosed little kids in school, Coxsackie virus, and it means your body's not using vitamin C very well, 
and the vitamin C cycle is the Krebs cycle that gives you energy. Chlamydia pneumoniae is a kind of um, calcium uh, fault that attacks the sac pericardium, uh, puts pressure on the heart, and doesn't allow you to have a very efficient heart. So look at that. Maybe underlying cause of chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue. We need to do some antidotes for those things, and I'll send you your GNS file right after this. But note, I put you on a six variant. Yep. Okay, so this is the pathogen. Let's see if the gene is also present. Now, I did genes, but it didn't bring up anything. The genes are not activated, but the pathogens are there. When the genes are activated, it can come and go as it pleases. But we know that right now, in your case, it's pathogens, and you've been attacked by four, three of them. Well, four of them if you include all these strains. You could go back and look what the frequencies are for these and see which one is the highest in your chart and start there. Okay, somebody's asking that question on what do I mean. Okay, if we look at this high one and it's Epstein-Barr and this one is Chlamydia pneumoniae, we'd want to start with the wide open, more active one. That's the kind of thing you learn in class, how to look at the architecture of this. And I would want to go look at this one, which we did not choose, but I would go, that's another form of the nuclear factor. Right there, hold on a second and I'll give you what it is. Now, why won't that activate? It is the nuclear factor kappa. So look in your database that you've got in class and you'll see. So you have two different forms of that nuclear factor out. And that means that your immune system has suffered. Do you have the immunized software? I do. Run yourself through there. Okay, let's see what kind of proteins, hormones, amino acids, vitamins, and minerals we could look at. What's too high and what's too low? And somebody's going to say, well, what do you mean? How could something be too high? Well, it means it's not being utilized. So here's glutamic acid, and we can go in and look at glutamic acid. AIDS moving potassium into spinal fluid across brain barriers. Potassium certainly gives you energy. So your glutamic acid is not working very well. Neither is your tyrosine which is the amino acid for the thyroid. Cortisol high, there's your adrenal stress. Somebody has their mic open, I need to go close that. I hear lots of things going on in the background, like a radio or something. There it is, okay, I'm muting it, got it. So we need to get a handle on cortisol, too high. That can cause intermittent, it's like mind racing, body fatigued. Boron high, when boron is high, you can feel these little creepy crawly things on your skin. Um, it's associated with menopause, associated with thinning hair, but high can cause Fatigue, so you go back and you look at boron. Why isn't boron working? It's a mineral and we should be able to look at it. It needs manganese, calcium, and B2 to make itself useful. So this chart is also available for you online uh, with the downloads. Chlorine, that's what you get in a pool. Or bleach, or 
Sometimes they pour it in your drinking water. Maybe they want us all complacent. Well, not likely because I'm in on well water. That's and great. I don't drink it. Oh well, so then I buy stuff. Ah, maybe that's a problem. A M P um D M N A S. I don't know what that is. Well, A M P I know about um amino monophosphate. But you could look that up on Wikipedia. I don't even know if you can buy it someplace. It's like cyclic GMP and cyclic AMP. It's about the energy cycle of the body, ATP and ADP. Do you have any ATP or ADP you can take and get that at your health food store? I can check that out. Okay. Oh, you got some B6s that are high, can't be high. It's water soluble. Back looking at your B6, look at your vitamins. Why isn't it working? Vitamin C, magnesium, sodium, potassium, that was one of those issues. So go back and look at your green sheet and start putting all these reports together. If you watch enough of these happy hours, you'll learn how to do these reports. And you can go back and pull all this information off because it's right here in this pastel folder. This green sheet, how to read all the sheets, how to interpret them. We have everything right here for you to start your practice. And there's probably at least 20 happy hours that you can go back and look at and learn how to use this, this information. So we have learned that you have four pathogens we need to get rid of, and you've got some B vitamins not working well, and when you have that many B vitamins, it might be sulfur, don't really know. But uh, didn't you have problems with sulfur before? I'm sorry, what was that? Sulfur, when you look at your methylation map, remember when we said everything's above the line? Yes. Oh, excellent, I want that. Um, first thing we do when things are like that is go into our, if I could spell the word, clean. Methylation. Um, we go into the map and begin to look at it. This is another computer program. So right here, there's usually trouble. If you can't use your B vitamins or your um, Krebs cycle, there's usually a problem right here with the sulfate and sulfate. And if you're going to your health food store, get some little uh, sulfur strips and see if you're peeing out too much of bad sulfur. It, AHCY will be high if you're peeing out um, sulfur. And look at what Tommy did. Look at this methylation mapping chart. He put a new chart in here. A more detailed map. Look at this thing. I think I opened the wrong one. I really wanted to open the one with the Krebs cycle on it, and it opened over here. Let me drag it over. This Krebs cycle is all that vitamin C cycle, where that ATP and ADP is um, made. So you might want to run yourself through that Krebs cycle template. I'm thinking seriously that we should do a happy hour on the Krebs cycle for people, especially if this fatigue continues or any of these pieces of the Krebs cycle end up being um, part of what we're doing in the next few days. Also, when you go over here and look at this sulfite, sulfite is the same frequency as calcium. So if you don't have enough calcium, you can't translate this nice toxin into something more useful. What happens with all the sulfur, it's used by the Krebs cycle with the vitamins and minerals. It comes together here at coenzyme A and then starts this process. Uses a lot of niacin to make this Krebs cycle work. We use something here called Brainstorm and it is from Allergy Research Group. So let me put that in. A happy hour on Krebs would be great. Okay. As as your votes are coming in 
I think we're going to have to put both of these up, both the cancer absolutes and the fatty um, the fatigue one. Cancer absolute. Okay, I'm going to need a little teeny spyglass to see this address. Research allergy research group dot com. Oh, finally got it. Allergy research group dot com. So there's people on here with us that are very knowledgeable about where to get your nutrients. So this is what we use here. So you know where to go now, Moon? We're going to kick some of those pathogens. Remember, you could somebody said you could do it with colloidal gold, uh, oh, great, awesome. grapefruit seed extract. Um, kill the pathogen, release the pathogens, not allow the pathogens to attack. Um, golden seal, somebody told me. Oh, that's an antibiotic. Richard. Or anybody have any more? Thank you for putting that in, Richard. Mm, uh, that MMS stuff, the sulfur-based stuff. Um, some people can take that, some people can't. So there's other things that you can do. We talked about this a little bit. I, I've done so many classes recently, I cannot remember. So you're going to look at your ADP and ATP, which you can buy, and get rid of these pathogens. Epstein-Barr is just absolutely rampant right now because people's livers are in stress. Chronic fatigue. Thank you, Moon. Any other questions? Thank you. I will look forward to the information coming my way. Okay, let me write myself a note so I don't forget right after this. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to have you hang up. Yep, I will. Bye -bye. Okay. She was so sweet to be a volunteer. Melinda, can you call us on that number I sent you? Can you take a vocal print through WebEx on my Dynex phone? We could try it, so just let's open your mic and see what we can do. Oh, you're on a call. That's weird. I thought I heard it ring. If I hang up on you, call again. But the phone's doing strange clicking noises. Great. Melinda, you open? I'm here. Okay, well, let's try it. So we're going to do the same thing with Melinda. This is I uncook the spider. And she's going to talk to us through WebEx. You guys can do this through WebEx to do that.
um, and I walk, it's very difficult to um, get away. I'm going to hit pause again. I've hit pause because you're just not loud enough. Can you speak up? Okay, I'll try. Okay, go again. Okay. Thank you. I um I wake up in the morning feeling very, very fatigued, very heavy uh weighted even though I'm not, and also feeling very tired. My body feels um different and not as um energetic as it has in the past. Um Okay, and- we're gonna we're gonna try this. And she says she wakes up in the morning fatigue. That's a good indication that it could be thyroid. And I'm on thyroid medication. What kind? Uh, thyroxine. Uh, hypothyroid, uh, 137. I go between 137 and 125 dose. Well, we should probably run you through the thyroid, but right now we're going to run you through fatigue. If you wake up tired, it's likely thyroid. Or you're sleeping really tight, not getting good rest. I feel I feel that I sleep very tight, like my entire system is wound up. Try just relax your toes and relax right on your body. And when you really relax, you'll do a nice cleansing breath. Or you could listen to the sound in your ears, and that'll give you a cleansing breath too. So we're doing these same steps that's in that little textbook that you can use. Be sure and let us know if you want to do something class in your area. Now look, we got that same little glitchy thing there in the beginning. I would look at this and I'd look at these open areas. But again, there's a lack of methylation here. We got one, two, three, four lows, and we're going to have to have six lows to even do the whole thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to get rid of this one. And watching that list over there, a number will disappear. Yep, give us more room. And I am just using my right and left mouse to click on this. That little textbook is all illustrated with pictures and words. So whatever you like pictures or words, whichever, it's in the book for you already. I was on a show today where the lady was saying something that Richard had said, I think, that... uh, Sherry Edwards is the Oprah of sound health because we give so much away and people say, how can you do that? How can you afford to give all of this stuff away? We can't, people. We're doing it because we have to. People need this information about being tired and not being able to get anything accomplished. Well, get out and vote. Uh, rile people up, you just don't have the energy. We need to be healthy or not going to be able to stand. I'm seeing us as Hadron's Wall. Hadron's Wall was a wall that the Romans built between North and South England because there were barbarians on the North that wouldn't behave. They wouldn't do what the government wanted. And every time they sent a government guy in there, somebody beheaded him. And so they built this wall so people couldn't come at that. And they separated people, divided. We conquer. Now, you see what's going on in the U.S. right now? Divide and conquer. Look at what's going on with blacks versus Spanish versus white versus this. Keep everybody stirred up and riled. I'm going to go do a comparison with Zimmerman and Obama and all these people were saying, march and show who's boss. And, hey, we need unity, not separation. But that's my soapbox for the day. So I'm going to save that list of frequencies, and I'm going to save them in my GNS files so I can find them. 
gets pretty simple after you do it once, right? Open client, go to my new folder, start Melinda. Open. There's our list of numbers. And we're going to start the same way that we did. Let's see if a pathogen got you. Look at that. Coxsackie. Suspected cause of chronic fatigue syndrome. High, high, high. These numbers are in your database, Melinda. There's about 15 Coxsackie viruses. Teachers and people around little kids get these Coxsackie viruses very easily. And the AMP is part of that Krebs cycle. It's high because it's not being used. I don't know what the pathway is for this. I know what the one is for GMP, guano monophosphate, but not AMP. You'll have to go to some chemistry book and, and look it up like we didn't look things up in class. Look at that. Chlamydia pneumoniae and Epstein-Barr. I need to go look up chlamydia pneumoniae over here and see if it's in the air. I'm over here working off camera here. C H L A M Y D I A. One of the ways that you can tell that chlamydia pneumoniae is an issue at the moment is your teeth begin to have much more plaque on them. And it is also one of the causes of COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Taurine is usually the answer. So we'll look in your amino acids about taurine. Let me see what kind you have here. It's mild atypical pneumonia in humans. Attacks the heart sac, the heart pericardium, pericardia. You have the one in stress that deals with arachidonic acid. So some good fatty acids might help you. Avocado, pine nuts, two real good sources of fatty acids. I would bet... Nope, I just lost the bet. It's not part of this nuclear kappa. Let me look around the wheel of that to make sure. I'm looking at the relationships of all of those numbers. Yep, sure enough, there's several kinds of Epstein-Barr and chlamydia pneumonia in that wheel, if you'll look at it for those who are professionals here. I think we've got more professionals than we do new people in here. So begin to look at those relationships. Do you find that weird? Both of you are just so tired you can't move and you both have the same kind of pathogens? We need to see clearer what's in some of these chemtrails and pesticides. Moon, are you up to doing a project on what relates to Epstein-Barr, because we've got two people here with it. And you have no genomes either. Just like um, Moon. Moon is somewhere out west. Melinda, where are you? The two of you live in different countries, even? <laughs> yes, absolutely. There's something busting our immune system. We need to take GNSs and run both Melinda and Moon through it when it's 649. Um, Melinda lives in San Francisco. I bet if we run you through methylation, we'd see the same thing. Let's see if we can just do that really quick. See what's getting 
get here? The methylation is how you're not using your resources. And both of you are having a problem using your resources. And both of you had that strange glitchy thing in the um, in the front part of your vocal print. Okay, you have a seven on F sharp. So we're looking at kidney, and then we're looking at A sharp five. We're looking at immune system. So 12 of your notes are between F sharp and A sharp. Then. Kidney process and getting rid of trash, and we looked at some of these. Nitric oxide synthase, that's for cell respiration. You can buy that online now. You, you couldn't until a year or so ago. It's for cardiovascular support also. So if we bring Melinda's in, let's see how many of the things were the same, even though they live worlds apart. Thank you, Larry. I caught it too late. I will have them edit it and take it out. Okay, we were looking at F sharp and A sharp. F sharp's the same, but hers is G sharp. So a lack of making the enzymes back to the liver again. So kidneys and immune and kidneys and liver. You want to look at the ones with the highest scores here. Those charts are waiting for you on the site. MTR, that's another piece of getting to that BHMT. I'll just open the map again. The ACHY is your throwing um, sulfur through the liver. No, not that one. You're throwing sulfur through the urine, that ACHY. And then the MTR, that's another pre genetic precursor for the use of methionine, which is instrumental in helping you use minerals and glycine and energy and detoxification. Um, Incredibly important. SAHH, that's another problem with sulfur. VDR, vitamin D receptor. You can't go buy those. You have to get that through sound. I would be very concerned about this throwing off this sulfur. Go to your local health food store, get some of those strips and test it and see. Cysteine uh, and homocysteine being high. Uh, not good. This is showing thick blood a lot of the time. B12 is usually down. Calcul's intrinsic factor is usually down. Um, a lot of things will help with the homocysteine. Um, you can look on your charts. Did I just kill it? The nutrient chart, that green one. It'll tell you what to use. New formula for nitric oxide, uh, Richard is putting in here. Why don't you put that to everybody, Richard? That's good information. Tryptophan, you do not want tryptophan high. Get some B3 and B6 in there and get this tryptophan moving. Tryptophan is can cause cancer cell proliferation, so you want to get it out of there. Dopamine high. Boy, when dopamine is not being used, you just 
you don't feel, but you're wide awake. You have very little affect, and it's not like you're worrying because there's small affect, but it's like ticking the things off you should do. You're anxious and unaffected all at the same time. It's just kind of strange. Oxalocytic acid, you go look at the Krebs cycle. That's one of them that you don't want in stress. Did we give you the template? Go to the forum, Melinda, and look at the Krebs cycle. Oxalocytic, you get kinked right there and your body starts uh, creating cancer cells. More ACHY, and this looks like it is genetic. We need to get this under wraps. Use a whole brain formula here. NTHFR, that's in that map too, right along with um, the MTR. This whole section right here from nitric oxide synthase on through and down, you've got some genetic issues. Nitric oxide synthase, you can buy that online. There's the SAHH, and you have that as a protein and as a gene. That leads to too much thickness in the blood, like thrombin, um, blood clotting. High thrombin can really fatigue you. It just crushes you. Along with chlamydia and pneumonia, the two of those together, they got you. The HMG, you know, these are some of the same things. How can people, well, they have the same symptoms. I just think we're being bombarded with something that's just kicking our butt this way. And look, part of 5-methylfolate pathway, and it's in here twice, that means that the same frequency appears twice on your chart. You go back and, and look at that clean methylation map, right here it is. This is how your DNA repletes itself, and without that, your body will not rebuild itself. Here's the BHMT, just like Moon had out. The COMT, Moon had that out. No, well, she didn't have the MAOA. Acetyl coenzyme A here. Remember on this map, the Krebs cycle? Hold on a second. Let me go get it. I don't know if this was the last one or not. Ammonia toxin is high. Mm. That's also a form of inability to get rid of sulfur. But if we go up here and look at this map, I think we already brought the map down. When you look at this nice fine map, and here's this Krebs cycle. You have the coenzyme A out. Remember I said coenzyme A is used right here. And it brings together the, the vitamins and the amino acids, mixes with sulfur, and starts this Krebs cycle. Melinda, we really need to do a Krebs cycle on you. Get in touch with Kenny tomorrow at the clinic, and let's get your Krebs cycle looked at. I'm I'm a little concerned too. I mean, it's not. I'm not 100% worried. I'm like 65% worried, concerned. So let's just nip it in the bud. I don't want to ever freak somebody out or worry them in doing this happy hour. It's supposed to be happy hour, but I am very concerned in Melinda's case. And I will write Kenny a note that we need to run you through Krebs and the absolute program, mapping, and maybe immune. And Moon's been with us long enough that she could run herself through those. Yeah, Kenny, same number. Well, this is a number into the class phone, but six nine uh, seven four zero 
6989119. Well, we can see some of the reasons for fatigue, um, a lot of them. And it looks like, at least in the case for tonight, that we got some Epstein Barr raging. Wonder if they decided now to put that in chemtrails or pesticides or milk or whatever they're doing to look at us as guinea pigs. I am so ticked off at this thing about the CDC allowing these tainted polio virus to get out to millions of Americans who are now 55 to like 65 years old. Um, and they put it up on their website. And when people objected, they took it down because they didn't want any they didn't want any controversy. Let me see if I can find that article. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, it's just we we talked about it. Um, info CDC on polio cancer. That wasn't it. Website polio. Not coming up anymore. Let me go to my hard drive and see if I can find it on there. It's all over the news. There's a link here. I didn't believe this. I didn't believe. The Center for Disease Control could allow this app, and then somebody said, well, they weren't even in existence then. I went back and looked it up on the internet. Sure enough, it's there. This really happened. Admits 98 million Americans received polio vaccine contaminated with cancer virus. I didn't think we'd do it here because I thought so many people had already seen it. The time frame, I just put that in the chat for you. The time frame, let me see if I can find the time frame for you. Done between 1955 and 63. So in this range, if it was when you were born, and they didn't do it when you were born back then. The other thing people ask is, was it the sugar cube one or was it the injectable? And I don't know the answer to that. We have not been able to find it yet. For certain, the injectable, but we don't know about the sugar cube one. Yes, Kathy, because Epstein Barn Chlamydia and Pneumonia are both in the Gen Pro. Well, depending on the year, it was not done after 63. I don't believe any of them. I, I'm with you, George. I don't believe anything they say anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I believe it, George. Absolutely. Do you think we should do this again next week and do more fatigue? Maybe add the Krebs cycle to it if we can get that program up and running, or at least get some templates to do it. Okay. Let your other people know we only have room for 100 people here. but. We will leave this up as a video on the site. And I will, Joan will be a volunteer. Remind me, Joan. Yes, George, thank you for the reminder. I need to do that. I will write an email right away. And Melinda and Moon, I will send you your GNS file so you can do all your stuff. For those of you who are with us and would be doing this as a business in your community, you would bundle these files that we just did 
send them along with the instructions to your client. And you could set this up just like on WebEx. And there's free WebEx now. It's called Share My Screen or Share My File. So you don't have to have this big operation going that we have because we record it and all that kind of stuff and keep statistics and whatever. So when will we be doing Parkinson's again? We can do it again by request, Karen. Just send in your request and, and we'll do it. Um, Nancy, I think we'll just repeat this again next week. If you can send it out to people to say we're going to be doing this, or um, I don't know how we could get this program to you. Okay, we don't save these chats just a few times. I'll try to save this one tonight so I can see how many of you would like to see this repeated. I don't know. We'll add Krebs cycle to it and see. We'll see if we can get that computer program up and running. I think our body needs help. I think somebody, something, somebody is bombarding us with Epstein Barr. Look at this. We we had five or six people in here with Epstein Barr. Yes, the frequencies for it are up and running right now, but something's pushing people over the edge, and I don't know if it's just frequencies in the air or pesticides or chemtrails, or, but something's got to give. We need to come together as a group and be able to put out the antidote for Epstein-Barr the second we see this beginning to happen. Yes, got all your stuff today. Thank you, David. Accumulated, <laughs> yes. Yes, Richard. For those of you who are practitioners, or those of you who are guardians, you can probably get at least the P version of this software. Amy is out for the next couple of days. Well, it takes a lot of testing to see if you have Epstein Barr, um, and it's it's titers and it's an expensive test, so they rarely do it. But just look at it on your vocal print. Okay, it is 7-Eleven. Perhaps we need medicine music channel. What a wonderful idea, Steve! Medicine music or music medicine, that would be absolutely awesome. I love that. Are you a musician, Steve? I love that idea. We're going to be the barbarians. Yeah, play it like the radio. I like this idea. You know, the tax man comes off with their heads. Ooh, I might go to jail for just threatening the tax guy there. Okay. Thank you all for being here. Please share the word about this phenomenal class you just attended, and we're going to repeat it next week. We'll see you then.